State's first micro power grid is up and running tonight in Middletown. That's right. It was powered up this morning. It's designed to help prevent widespread power outages in the case of a natural disaster. This is Keith Coons live tonight in the control room to explain. Hi, Keith. Hi, Ann. Hi, Darren. This idea behind these microgrids, really a very simple one, to make sure that the power stays on in critical places like perhaps a town government center or a university in the event of a widespread outage. In the event of an emergency, like a severe storm. Click it, and here we are. There we are. This 676 kilowatt reciprocating gas engine at the Freeman Athletic Center on the Wesleyan University campus will serve as a lifeline for the entire Middletown area. From this unit, we can run this building and a good proportion of our campus. And certainly with our control system, we can use both engines in combination to run the entire campus. One, two, three. Great for the school, but also a major benefit to the city, giving citizens a place to go in a time of crisis without stretching thin municipal resources. We can open this building as a second shelter when needed, which eliminates our need on the local level to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars or potentially even millions of dollars to expand the shelter in our local facilities. Nine communities around the state were awarded grants for microgrids like this one by the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection last year after Connecticut took a battering from recent storms like Irene and Sandy. And this is just the beginning. The agency has already earmarked $15 million in next year's budget for another set of microgrids aimed at keeping the juice flowing to other critical facilities in cities and towns across the state. Be it a pharmacy, a, a emergency operations center, a downtown area, a grocery store, a gas station. Um, we're looking for a diversity of projects. Yeah. Now, the act activation rather of the microgrid of Wesleyan is just the first of the initial nine facilities that will eventually go online all across the state. The others are in communities that include Bridgeport, Stores, Hartford, and Groton. These microgrids are clearly the kind of things we won't really appreciate until we're in the midst of a crisis. Darren Ann, back to you.